reports the future of a Golden Valley school is in jeopardy. House Republicans want to close the state-funded Purpose Center for Arts Education after an audit revealed low test scores, declining enrollment, and mismanagement. However, as Eric Nelson found out, there's also a strong push to save the school. To abolish Purpage would be to abolish the dreams of hundreds and hundreds of young Minnesota artists. Purpage, Purpage Center supporters rallied today in St. Paul, banging the drum for a school they think is a huge asset. I feel confident in the direction that the new leaders are taking Purpage and certainly think we owe them the chance to make changes. With threats of a complete shutdown looming. Now is not the time to shut down the Purpage Center for Arts Education. And a legislative audit that was not kind to Purpage. The school has brought on nine new board members in an effort to streamline their business. In spite of political challenges, the Purpage community continues to thrive. This year we've seen 97 students win scholastic honors. Proponents passionately made a case for Purpage. They don't want to see 187 students displaced. And I firmly believe that this is an institution which has great value to all of our students and to our communities across the state. When you walk in the door, you're immediately surrounded by artwork on all of the walls. Cynthia Rowe graduated from Purpich in 1992 after transferring from Osseo High School. My experience for me was profound and it made a huge difference for me. For Rowe, Purpich was a game changer that eventually led to a career as a litigation lawyer. Purpich really changed who I am. Rowe says Purpich is a lifeline for some kids who don't fit in at other schools. There were kids who I'm sure would have committed suicide if they had not found that community. The new board says they have addressed every single item in the audit. And if things bounce their way politically here at the Capitol, they will have a retreat in July to try to improve the viability of Purpich in the future. In St. Paul, I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News. The Purpich Center was started in 1985 and has a current budget of $11 million a year.